I dreamt of a warrior walking from a world of fire into a lush green land in the bloom of spring. In his hand he carried a flashing sword. His armor's burnished surface reflected his past and his future in twisted detail. Beneath his feet the land split. Ash filled his footprints, and embers sparked before him, messenger of his coming. I have decided to enter a miniature painting contest. But I'm not good enough to enter a miniature painting contest, you say. Well, I am not good enough to enter a miniature painting contest, and that is even more reason to enter one. How will I get good enough to paint miniatures at the level that I want to without some sort of goal? This is my chance. I found a local painting contest called the Painted Ursa, taking place in Anchorage, and I am going to enter with this warrior that I imagine coming from a fiery world into a verdant land and bringing with him the destruction of his kind. I have been painting with some intention of becoming a better painter for nearly a year now, and I think I have improved a fair bit. In no way do I imagine that my painting is as good as those who enter painting contests with expectations of winning or placing, but if I enter a contest like this, then I will find where I need to improve the most. And At this point in my painting journey, a competition will engender the perfect amount of pressure for me to improve. And the same is true for you. How do I know this? Because I haven't done a painting competition before. And so it is a new kind of pressure and will give me some new impetus to improve in ways that I haven't before. One of the tenets of any kind of training is that there must be variation in order to adapt. So I will now take on the task of adapting to the rules of a competition. My original idea was to paint a Slaves to Darkness Chaos Knight mounted on a horse and riding into the new land. But then I took a look at the rules for the competition. I decided that a Chaos Warrior on foot that has that same aesthetic that attracts me so much would also fit my vision and allow me to enter the competition. The category for this year's competition only includes the single model, and it has to have a base size up to 55 millimeters, which precludes the Chaos Knight. The rules state that there are four categories the judges will use when looking at the entries for this competition. And while I don't imagine that I will win the competition, there's no point in engaging if I don't try the to The first criteria the is difficult to do the best. That the I complexity can. of the piece and of the techniques used, be they painting, sculpting, design, or composition. I haven't chosen a very difficult model to paint, so I will have to depend on my techniques and on composing an interesting base. The second is creativity, and I'm hoping that my vision for this model will help me a little bit here. Third is workmanship. I have a lot of cleaning to do, so I'll start out with that, doing the best I can, putting together one of these models. I'm not too familiar with these kind of models, so this will be a lot of good work for me. And finally, painting skill. The main point of this competition and of my endeavor to become better is to improve in painting skill. This will be a chance for me to work on those techniques like non-metallic metals and blending that I really need to work on. Another reason to enter a competition at a local gaming store, other than the improvement in technique that I hope to acquire, is that I hope to become more a part of the local gaming community. It, hopefully, even in this time of quarantines and minimal close contact, will be a chance for me to find new people who have similar interests to my own and 
with whom I can eventually game in person and share ideas about miniatures, painting, and telling stories on the tabletop. This is very nearly my first experience with Games Workshop miniatures, and they are pretty cool. My actual first experience was playing Blood Bowl back in the late 90s while I was in college. My team was a Chaos team, and that may be where my love for the aesthetic of Chaos Warriors comes from. I showed my lack of familiarity while putting together this model right away by cutting out two left arms. It took me a moment to figure out why things didn't fit together correctly, but uh, I soon found an appropriate arm for my warrior. While this model is not very complex in the scale of how complex Games Workshop models can be, it is more complex than most of the models that I have painted, and there are many places that I will not be able to reach once it is assembled. So this will not only be my first model painted for a competition, but also my first model that I will attempt to paint in pieces before full assembly. While my journey is beginning with cleaning off sprue lines and trying to figure out which pieces go where, it will not end there. I have quite a few skills to learn as I go along and I hope to pick some up, but I am not going to share my journey entirely here. I will share those things that I learn through painting and entering this model in a competition in a future video. My purpose here is not to explain how to enter a competition or how to do well in a competition, but simply to encourage you to enter a competition or to choose some other way of expanding your hobby by getting out of your comfort zone. Hopefully I will get some useful notes from the judges in the competition about my miniature and what sorts of skills I may need to work on next. And I will share what I learned while painting the miniature and preparing it for competition, and also those things that the judges find that I can work on next in my next video. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your valor.